friends welcome back to our channel if you have seen our previous videos you know that we have been talking about the uk university's application process plus how to fill the uks application form but in this session we are not focusing on the uk universities rather a us university the topmost university of the us yes you heard it right guys today you will come to know about the admission process of the harvard harvard is a self explanatory term which doesn't need any introduction we will cover admission process in two parts part 1 and part 2 in the first part we will discuss about the general forms to be filled and in second part we will focus on the requirements other than the application form please watch it till the end for the complete information so without making any further delay let's start our video The university accepts application from all over the world. The application process is same for all irrespective of the citizenship or nationality. You can also apply for financial aid. Process is a simple for all. But before applying to the university, applicant first need to choose a single category that whether they want to apply as a restrictive entry action or regular decision applicant. Restrictive early action is a non-binding process. If a student is accepted, they are not committed to go to that particular school. They can still decide whether or not to attend that school. Whereas regular decision is a standard application process. The deadlines for both these are different. Students can apply by November 1 and receive notification by mid December in restrictive entry action whereas they can apply till january 1 and receive notification by april 6 each year in regular decisions rea is just a way to show commitment to a particular school you can only apply for a single private school whereas can apply to public schools as a regular applicant The applicants who are aware of the UK universities application process knows that there is a UKS form common for all UK universities. In the same way there are three forms that US universities including Harvard accepts for admissions. These are common application, universal college application, collation application. You can choose any one of the major to apply. Each method is treated equally by the admission committee. If you choose common application you must submit your application form before your supporting materials can be released to the college. The Universal college application doesn't require the same process. These three forms are online application forms that gather all information related to your parent, guardians, education, history, work experience, etc. Once you have submitted the duly filled online form, Harvard will send you an email confirmation with a pin to access the applicant portal. Generally, this email is sent the day after you submit your application online. Along with the form, you need to submit the application fees. You can check the application fees in your school website in which you wish to apply. You can even waive the application fee by requesting the school. You can request a fee waiver directly through the common app or collation application if you meet their respective indicators of economic need. but if you do not meet these indicators or you are applying using universal application form then you can use the link admission application fee waiver request form of the harvard college the link is in description box this form is only open during the admission application process that is from august through march 1st every year Next step is completing Harvard supplementary questions. Complete the Harvard questions with the common app or collation application. But for universal application, complete the Harvard supplement. In addition to all these forms, you need to submit mid-year school report to allow school to review your performance in the first half of your 12th grade. It must be completed by your school officials. And once you have completed your 12th grade, you need to send a final report by July 1st. And this is only for those who have been admitted by the college. Now comes the standardized test scores. These tests include GRE, GMAT, LSAT, SAT. Depending on the course you wish to apply, check out the school website to see which scores they accept. So here we ends up part 1 which includes the application form. A part 2 which we will upload shortly will include letter of intent, statement of purpose, letter of recommendation, process of the interviews, your deadlines and lastly the English proficiency test. I hope I have explained it well. If you have any queries please comment below and do subscribe our channel for more such content. We post weekly. I hope you are liking it as well. If you wish to apply for Oxford or even Cambridge but finds the process a difficult one, do check out our link. It's an easy process you have ever resumed plus a bonus video on UK's application form. Do check out the links. Thanks for watching.